floor and a timeout called by Leon Neal, the head coach of the Evangel with five and a half minutes to play. Leon's been at this for a long, long time. He is a competitor. He and his wife, Don, head coach and uh, assistant coach. It's a one-point game, 5.32 to go. And again, a very important ball game. Both these teams are four and six, right in the middle of the pack. Actually, three, four, five, tied for sixth place, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And you want to move up. You want to you stay ahead. And, Nathan, it's so important to win these home games in this conference. It's so important, especially in a team that you're evenly matched with. We have to go to Springfield later in the year. So, boy, this is just crucial. And Leon knows if he can steal one here, you know, he gets, he, he gets the tiebreaker now with the Vikings. So, huge game for both teams. Both teams thinking ahead to that conference tournament end of the year. You want to do everything you can to win these type of games because that helps you move the pack a little bit in that middle seating area. And then you're able to get yourself perhaps a much more favorable matchup early in the tourney. So inbound coming for Evangel here on the near side. Taylor Longley has the top of the key, gets the screen, goes around it right side, tries to attack the bucket, but Kiana Wharton says no dice. Great defense underneath by Wharton. That's probably her third or fourth block of the game. It'll be Evangel inbounding underneath the basket here on the near side. Longley gets it in. Putting on the deck, Lessman attacking with the left side. Wharton goes up high to try and block that one, but they're going to call her for a foul this time. Well... From our angle, it looks like she got all ball, but maybe got her on the wrist as well. That's Kiana's second and the third team foul. So Jessica Lessman will go to the free throw line for two. Knocks down the first. You don't Les want to follow this team down the stretch, do you? Lessman coming into tonight was a 70% free throw shooter. As a team, Evangel shoots 67.5% from the line. Not second tonight. one falls as well. Not tonight. They're 90% plus tonight. Knocking all of them down. They have a 60 to 57 lead with five minutes to play. The other way for Valley. Here's Andres Augusto, top of the key. Swing it left wing. Enlo. Now the other way. Attacking baseline right side is Ward. She has Enlo. Corner three left side. Knocks it down to tie the game. Savannah Enlo. Just her second bucket of the game. Both have been big three pointers, though. And that pushes. This one even at 60, under five minutes to play. Good job by Ward, drove the baseline, knew where the open gal was, found her. Feed in the post on the inside to Patterson, swatted away, Keanu Wharton attacking the other way for Valley. Here comes Deidre McCoy in transition. Nice little step move, a little Euro step from Deidre McCoy, and she gets to the bucket in transition. Valley takes the lead back. Deidre McCoy, eight points in the half, 12 for the game, 62-60, Missouri Valley in front. Controlling middle of the free throw line is Patterson for Evangel. Gives towards Longley. They kick it back. Top of the key for Lessman. Now back out towards Longley. Left wing. Lessman top of the key. Puts it on the deck. Right-handed dribble. Tries to go to the bucket. Foul call. as she attacked the rim? She was a little out of control, but they're going to get Deidre McCoy for a block inside that time. And that should be her second personal foul. Team fourth, so the next one will put Evangel into the double bonus. What did you say? They shot 67 percent from the line. That's 67 and a half percent. Well, tonight they're 13 out of 14. Knocking everything down, and Lessman continues that trend. Wow. That's how you win games. Hit your threes, make free throws. You win a lot of ball games. Yeah, Leon Neal's not going to be disappointed in how his team uh, not only attacked the bucket aggressively, no. but knocked down free throws. Just over four minutes left in this one as Lessman ties the game, knocking down her fourth charity stripe attempt in this quarter. Substitutions being made for Evangel. Lessman comes out of the game. Daniel Ladd is back in. I think Mackenzie Farmer's coming in, too, number 24. Evangel shows 2-3 zone yep. here with four minutes to play. Ward, left wing, feeds high post Keanu Wharton. Kick out in low. Nice little head fake, puts it on the deck. Bounce pass towards Wharton, gets to the bucket and in. Boy, Savannah Enlow read that perfectly. Head fake with the three and then a little bounce pass, dropping it off to Kiana Wharton for the bucket. 64-62, Valley in front under four minutes to play. And now a foul called offensively that time on Allison Swanson. Her elbow got up towards Kiana Wharton's head. Good call inside. That's her.